man. Go ahead, Josh. Before, Josh, before you say anything, I got to give all this credit to our fans. We're incredible tonight. Like, this atmosphere and these guys, this, this group getting behind this special group of players is – is just something incredible. And that's, you know, we can't say enough about how much the support and the, the energy in this arena means to this group. Um, so that I have to say that before anything, because that was like unbelievable. <laughs> in addition to the crowd, after you guys fell behind by 12 early, what changed for you guys? What allowed you guys to seize momentum? Well, it shows the growth of the group. Um, you know, during one of the timeouts, it was just a level of poise, knowing that we had to make sure we got stops, um, not focusing on the offensive end of the floor because we did get some early good looks that just didn't fall. Uh, the guys came in their poise, settled the group down, and we were able to, to sustain their run. And I think that's a sign of growth for this group, knowing what they're capable of doing, but never wavering in that, knowing we had to hang our hats on the defensive end of the floor. Coach, talk about containing Zion. I mean, it seemed like it was a team effort. Ooh. Was it an emphasis in practice leading up to this game about, you know, taking charges, waiting for him to kind of make his leap inside? Or was that just the guys being in the right place at the right time? A uh, combination of both. You know, our coaches do a tremendous job of putting these guys into place. Coach Oz does a fantastic job with the defense, letting these guys know positionally where they're supposed to be, uh, the communication level they need to have, the, the focusing on the game plan. Again, Zion, is, is he's, he's a problem. <laughs> It's tough, you know, to try to stay in front and take charges on them. You saw a couple guys got hit <laughs> dead on. Uh, but again, it's the willingness and the sacrifice for our guys to do that for the team. You know, I think that's what's the most important piece there. <clears throat> Coach, can you talk about Paulo's game nearly shut out in the first half and finishes up with a triple-double? It's interesting that we've said that two nights in a row. You know, with him that, you know, the teams are loading up on him, defending him in different ways. He's making the right play, the right pass, not forcing the game. And then in the second half, and this is what we've said from the beginning about him, he reads what the defense is doing. He adjusts as the game is going on, and then he finds his time to pick time to attack. And that's growth of a young man, but it's also what an all-star does. It's what great players do. They adjust as the teams are seeing, as he sees what the teams are doing, and they, and they thrive after that. Coach, is this team at its best when one unit struggles, the next one comes in, gets you back to where you want to go, the first unit says thanks, and then takes over the game? I think the, this, this team's at its best when both units are going. <laughs> that would be best. Uh, but again, this, it's a great group that it's about the group. It's about doing it by committee. Uh, and they pick each other up. I think that second unit went on a 24 to eight run. Uh, and, and guys where that could have come in at a scheduled time were talking about, hey, let these guys go, let them run. And that's why this group is so darn special because of them being able to support one another all the time. It seemed like New Orleans walled off the paint mm -hmm. uh, early. Mm -hmm. uh, then you hit a few threes. Uh, what opened up the, the game offensively for you guys in the half court? I think continuing to trust the pass. Uh, we found something there a little bit early on. Uh, you know, Jesse, who he works on the offense a little bit, just and handles seeing things during the timeouts, being able to find the pocket, right? We found the pocket, they were able to spray out for knockdown feet set threes. And if they we didn't spray it out and they didn't rotate over, we were able to finish at the rim. And the, the great part about this group is the concepts, you know, mean so much because you can put anybody in any situation and they understand the right play to make in those moments. The past couple of days, the players have been saying that they were expecting a playoff-like mm -hmm. atmosphere and playoff-like competition. Does this kind of give you a taste of what could be to come? Absolutely. And I think these guys were ready for it. They, they, you know, they took on that challenge. Kind of kind of building on that point, uh, like, like Josh said, the first first quarter was, was a bit of a struggle. You missed some shots early on. We've seen in maybe some previous games the team get a little bit down after mm -hmm. that. What, what, is, what does it say about they were able to kind of, that, like you said, stay poised in that moment? But what does it say that they were able to kind of stay calm in that moment and, and stick with that game plan to eventually execute and, and pull ahead? It says so much about their growth, uh, about their communication, uh, their poise, as you said. They, they just understand that it is a game of runs, and they hit, they hit their stride early. Uh, but these guys didn't panic. Uh, they didn't break at all. They just they understood what they needed to do. They you know figured that out, sit down a little bit more defensively, get some early easy baskets from your defense and watch the ball go in, and then that changes it. Can you talk about your team's response in the fourth quarter? They reeled off 10 in a row mm -hmm. to start the quarter, but 
I guess, that poise word again, right? It is. It really is. And, and understanding that basketball is a game of runs. You know, you're not going to shut teams out. So the, the ability to know that teams are going to go on a run, but to not panic, to not overreact to it, understand what it is they're doing. You call a timeout, you settle down, and you understand exactly what adjustments you need to make in those moments. Gary's okay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You recorded your second triple double of your career. What allowed you to find your teammates out of those double teams that New Orleans was throwing at you? Uh, I think just trying to let the game come to me. Um, you know, I think we got some very good looks in the first quarter. And uh, I just, you know, was able to, you know, I tried to manipulate the defense a little bit just with my passing. So I thought we got some great looks, and I just wanted to keep, you know, finding guys. Guys, this was a, a highly emotional game. At moments, you hit a three or a dunk and were pounded on the back of the basket. Jalen, you as well, just some really emotional moments during this game. You guys started down, came back. Just what was it about this game in particular that just kind of had you guys like really juiced up in front of the home crowd? Um, a fun one. This was a fun task. Um, you know, they've been playing great basketball over there. Uh, I think they play a great brand. You know, they play defense. Uh, they get out and run. Um, you know, we matched up really well with them. So uh, it was when we were all excited for to come out and hoop. Uh, the energy in the building tonight was electric. You know, we felt that. And uh, I think when we made big plays, um, you know, like their dunk, their lives, uh, things like that, um, naturally you get those reactions uh, because we're so hype. Uh, we're so into the moment. You know, I think that's what you're seeing. So, um, yeah, fun night. This question just, you know, for any three of you, though, um, you know, most talked about, and then Jalen, you just kind of brought it up, just the energy and the atmosphere tonight with the fans. You know, you guys just look like a different team sometimes at home with just the energy that you guys come out with and that the fans provide most, like I said, just trust it. You know, how much of a playoff like atmosphere does this kind of give you guys and really get you guys excited knowing that this final stretch of the season's coming up and you guys are getting an early taste of that? Um, I mean, I've never been in the playoffs, so I don't have anything to compare, but um, it was really fun playing at home, um, and we really enjoy being here, and um, I think you can tell that um, you know, we, we try to do our best out of here and um, you know, have fun with the game, and I think everybody sees that, that we really enjoy playing with each other, so I think that's the biggest thing that we've that we got to keep, it, keep up. You mentioned the adjustments that you had to make in, in the first in the first quarter, just kind of letting the game come to you, making passes. The, the team as a whole seemed to kind of struggle offensively, offensively especially early on. But you guys were able to come back and, and, and kind of continue to execute. What kind of adjustments did you guys have to make after that start, or or what was it about what was it about just kind of keeping your poise that that allowed you guys to to, to race ahead? Yeah, I think it was more of staying poised than really adjustments. I think just. Like I said, we was getting a lot of clean looks to start the game. They just didn't drop. So, you know, we just were coming to the huddle, telling each other, you know, don't panic, don't get worried. Like, we're getting what we want as um, long as we, you know, defend. Really, that was the focus, was making sure we was defending against stops. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that just shows, like, you know, how much we trust each other and, you know, how close we are. You know, say, everybody, you know, echoing it, the same thing. Just stay at it, keep doing what we're doing. Um, it's going to come. Fun. Obviously, there's been games in between, but what do you guys think you took away from the Knicks game on the road that was physical, playoff caliber, like atmosphere, et cetera, into tonight's game? And how do you feel like you used that and, and grew from that game to this game tonight with that performance? Yeah, I would say the physicality, making sure that we do stay poised when uh, you know teams are taking something away, which will happen. Um, you know, as we as we you know continue in the season, as we go into postseason, teams will plan for you know what we've been doing all year, and uh, then we just make sure that we keep moving the ball, keep playing together, and um, you know that we kind of have have answers for for that physicality, and I think you can see a, a learning curve for for the whole team uh, in terms of that. Paolo, you, you drew the assignment of Zion early tonight's game. He turned you guys turned him over a season high eight times tonight. Um, can you talk about just your defensive effort and just as the collective team defensive effort on Zion tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's not just me. It takes five guys to stop him, you know. Uh, he relentless going downhill. And so, 
you know, I just really give credit to my teammates. Wendell had a lot of, you know, great plays. J.I., um, you know, just Mo stepping in front, taking two charges on him, getting two fouls. Um, that, that's all, you know, teamwork. And then just, uh, you know, when you got a guy like that, like I said, you know, obviously I was the guy guarding him, but it's a lot of help behind me. So uh, it was just a team effort. Anything else? All right, thank you.